In this video, I'll show you several ways you can use QR codes to help you organize and improve productivity at home. First, I'm going to explain what QR code is. Then I'll explain how you can use it around your home. Then I'll show you how you can create QR codes and print them. So let's get started. So what is a QR code? QR stands for Quick Response. And it's a type of barcode. The barcode can contain a wide variety of information and can be read easily by a device that almost everyone has these days, our smartphone. QR codes have been around a long time now. And while some parts of the world really embrace this barcode system to facilitate information sharing in commercial ways, here in the US, we've been slow at adopting this system. I've only started seeing these pop up everywhere after the start of the pandemic, mostly in businesses like restaurants where they have replaced physical menus with QR codes that lets consumers view the menu on their phones. So seeing a wide application of QR codes triggers some ideas for me, and I'll be sharing a few with you in this video. What are some of the ways you can use QR codes around the house? You can use QR codes for storage and organization. I have boxes of storage items stacked up on top of each other in my garage and in my basement. I might have a simple label written on these boxes like books, camera accessories, or toys, but in most cases, I won't know exactly what's inside the boxes. So if I'm looking for something specific, I'd have to actually remove the box from the shelf and physically open it to view its content. Rather than going through this hassle, we can take a picture or multiple pictures of the box contents, then save the picture anywhere on the cloud. This could be in Google Drive, iCloud, Evernote, OneNote, literally anywhere that assigns hyperlink to the file. We can then create a QR code based on the hyperlink and tape the printed QR code to the front of the box. Next time you want to review the box content, we can simply scan the code with our phone. Operating manual. Do you have equipment at home that you don't use frequently? And when you do want to use it, you don't remember how to operate it? I have this ice maker and every few months I need to clean the machine. And this involves the arranging some tubes in the back, getting the right mix of vinegar to water ratio, and making some changes to the control settings. Now, I can record a simple video with my smartphone as I go through the steps, then save it to the cloud service like Evernote for future reference. I can generate a QR code to the note page containing the video, and next time I need to clean the machine, I just need to simply scan it for a quick refresher. Lastly, I use it for recipes. Sometimes I transfer contents of dry packaged grocery items to my own container. This means that the recipe and other information often printed on the back of the box is gone. So I'd have to take a picture of the box, save it to Evernote, print the QR code to it. And the next time I want to make mashed potatoes, I can just scan this code for the recipe. What I like about the QR code solution is that it's contextual. The information is readily available at the right place and at the right time. I don't need to go somewhere else to search things up. And of course, I can keep the information like this in my note system like OneNote or Evernote, but I won't always remember how I name my notes initially. And with the QR codes, um, it can be easily used by other members of the household as well, as long as they have access to the platform where the links are pointing to. Of course, setting up a system like this does require a little bit of work up front, you can keep the system very simple or you can get really sophisticated here. How to create QR codes. First, we need the hyperlink to the reference material we want the QR code to pull up. This could be anything. If we want link to a note we created in OneNote, simply right click on a note page and select link to a page. In Evernote, right click on a note and select copy internal link, then copy web link. If you want the QR code to pull up a YouTube video, we can right click on it, select copy video URL. You get the idea. Then copy this link into a QR code generator. There are many options out there. This is the one that I use and I'll put the link in the description below. Simply paste the URL we copied earlier to this field, and it'll generate a QR code. Now, just to test this out, open up the camera app on your phone 
and point it to the code. On the iPhone, it'll recognize the QR code right away, and we can tap on it to open the link. And we see that it takes us directly to the content. For Android phones, depending on the make and model, you may need to download a separate camera app that can read QR codes. Now that we verify that this code works, we can copy and paste this image to any document and simply print it. Then we can just stick this on wherever we want to reference it in the future, and we're done. If you want to get a little more sophisticated, we can print these QR codes to a label. So in this example, I'll be using an Avery label 5660 since that's what I happen to have. If you have a bunch of reference links and you want to bulk print QR codes, there's a way to do this in Microsoft Word using Mail Merge. But that's outside the scope for this video. If you do want me to make a video about this in the future, let me know in the comments below and I'll consider making it. For today, we'll do this manually. Let's open up Microsoft Word, go to Mailings, then choose Create Labels. Make sure we're in the Labels tab, then choose Options down below. From here, we can select the appropriate label vendor, then choose the product number, then hit OK. Now we can hit New Document so that we can see the outline of the label. So all we have to do is just paste the QR code image to fit in these boxes to ensure they are within the printable area of the labels. Again, this will be different based on the label product you choose. For me, I have to scale it down, and when I do that, the QR code image becomes really dense. If I try to scan it, it's not being recognized. So how do we fix this? Let's go back to the QR code generator. When we paste the short URL, the code looks simple. In contrast, when we paste a long URL, the generated code is complex and dense, and it becomes more difficult to scan, especially if the image is shrunken down. We do have the option here to shorten the URL, but then this requires us to log into the service. You may choose to go this route to simplify your workflow, but I prefer not to. I'll open a new tab on my browser, go to tiny URL. This website will shorten any URLs, so I'll simply paste my long URL and convert it to a tiny one. Then I'll hit copy, go back to the QR code generator, and paste it. Now look at the difference. It looks so much more simpler. Now we can paste this image into our label, shrink it down, and let's test it to make sure that it works. And it does. We can even add a text if you want to and hit print. Now that we have these labels printed, we can apply them to where we want. So what do you think? I've shared a few applications for this just to get the ideas flowing. If you find a good use for QR codes around your home, be sure to share them in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks and bye for now.